The next thing I'm going to demonstrate is the power of the suction machine. If you can remember, the suction machine is used in the first trimester to bring the entire baby, pregnancy, placenta, everything down through a plastic tube like this, through the suction tubing, and then down over to the machine. The suction is also used when a tube like this is placed up into the skull of the baby on the partial birth abortion to collapse the baby's skull. But I'm just going to demonstrate the power of the suction machine to you. We have a steel paint thinner can right here. I can stand on this can and it wouldn't collapse. This piece of plastic right here is a piece of suction curette tubing that would be used in either the first trimester or the partial birth abortion. That's going down in through the top of the can. This tube is connected over to the suction machine, which you can probably hear in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the suction tubing on top of the can, and you'll hear a little crinkling sound from the steel, but that's not even full suction. It's when I close this valve over that little opening there that the full power of the suction machine will be applied to the inside of the can. So I'm going to open up the valve right now. I'm going to place the suction tubing on top of the can. And you can hear the can was already starting to make a little bit of a change. Now I'm going to close the valve on the suction machine. And I want you to watch the power of the suction machine on this can. With just the power of the suction machine, we've taken a steel paint thinner can that I couldn't bend with my hands, that would support my weight when I stood, but that's what's happening to these tiny little babies. That's what's happening to the babies in the first trimester are just being destroyed and brought up. That's why when people would say it's just a blob of tissue, well sure, no more than a pound of hamburger looks like it came from a cow. That tissue that comes out of this machine sure doesn't look like a baby, but you've already seen that it is a baby. And that's, if it can do that to a steel can, it can sure do that to a tender baby's skull when this kind of a force is placed on the inside of that skull. But that's the power of the suction machine that's used on terminating the lives of these tiny little babies.